On today's show, we visit the beautiful Garden State and drift a series of rips off Sandy Hook, New Jersey, offering large sandworms to lethargic hot summer stripers with my guest, Captain Our Story, saltwater fishing columnist for the Star Legend newspaper, and his longtime fishing buddy, Gene Grauman of Middletown, New Jersey. So, Al, you and Gene known each other a long time, been fishing together for a long time, too, haven't you? That's right. Ever since I uh, came back here from Montauk and became a completely New, New Jersey guy, uh, we, uh, we, we've been fishing. Gene happened to have seen one of my columns where I mentioned fishing the rips out at Montauk, which I used to love to do at night, and, and called me and said, uh, well, we got a rip over here, too. He said, you got to come and fish with me. And the very first night I went with him, I got a 48-pounder. And I've been waiting to try to catch another one ever since. <laughs> Fish have gotten smaller over the years, but more of them. <laughs> so it's been good. We've had a good time together. We've been fishing ever since. Gene, what is it we have planned for tonight? We're using some worms and eels, but where are we fishing? What are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to use light tackle, and we're going to uh, use worms and eels. And we're going to go around the tip of Sandy Hook in New Jersey and uh, try that first off. There's a little rip right at the point of the hook. And then later on, if we don't do nothing uh, just that dark, we'll go down in the Sandy Hook Rip, which is down by uh, the beach and uh, buoy 11 Sandy Hook Channel. And uh, if, if it comes out all right and the tide's moving and we get the fish, fine. If not, we're going to move over to the Romer Shoals and uh, fish over there and see what we can get over there. And hopefully we get a decent fish and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. You have to move around a lot in this fishing. Sometimes it's, it's easy, you just run right out, and the first place has got fish. Other nights, you got to go here, go there, try different techniques. And Gene knows them all. He's been doing this since he was a kid, and uh, he's, probably, he's probably got the most longevity of anyone fishing these areas. When, uh, when there were no striped bass around, he was still the only guy out there catching the one or two that were left. <laughs> Leaving the blistering heat of the shoreline with temperatures over 100, the setting sun and cool breeze gave sailboats the horsepower they needed and us some of nature's air conditioning. All right, folks, celebrating our second decade, it's time for the Northeast premier fishing show, The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson. The Fishing Line is brought to you by Boaters World, boating and fishing for the world, Boaters World. And by the Outdoor Channel, real outdoors for real people. The Outdoor Channel. Also brought to you in part by Bomber Lures, Tie One On. Silver Thread Line, Performance Technology Line. Yum Baits, Start a Feeding Frenzy. Daiichi Hooks, The World's Sharpest Hooks. Yamaha, When You Want the Best. And by Lipa, The Power of Change. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fishing reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. Hi, it's Charlie Jr. from Mayapack Marine. Spring's here and we've got boats in the water already. Stop down to our marine supply store. We have all your tune-up parts and accessories in stock for you. And remember that we can also take care of your boat. We've got factory trained technicians on Merc Cruiser, Force, and Volvo, and Yamaha as well. So we can pretty much take care of anything you need done to any of your boats. Give us a call at 845-628-6550. And remember, we haul, deliver, and pick up also. channel is the channel you've been waiting for. We bring you the real outdoors with hours of hunting action each and every day. If real outdoor entertainment is what you're looking for, then you need the Outdoor Channel. Call your cable provider let them know that you want the only real outdoor network, the Outdoor Channel.
Mahopak Marina, located on picturesque Lake Mahopak in Putnam County, has been owned and operated by the Melchner family since 1969. Boating is a wonderful way to spend quality time with your family and friends, and Lake Mahopak offers a fantastic opportunity to do just that. Mahopak Marina can make owning a boat very affordable. Buy a new boat for as little as $99 a month. The Mahopak Marina is also a full-service marina, servicing the boating community from the Hudson River to the Long Island Sound. One hour from Manhattan, 45 minutes from the Bronx and Southern Westchester. Mahopak Marina, Route 6 and Mahopak, New York. What does it feel like, Al? Feels like this one might go 15 inches. You know the fluke? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Better get the harpoon ready. It's running. Yeah. I'm coming behind you here. That was when we got a skate on here or something. Oh, oh I got the net. I'll get it. I got the net. Look, look at all the brown spots on him. Right over here, Al. You know, all of a sudden, right. he was feeling a little bit heavier. Help you cross oh, I got, you, I got you a line. There you go. That's what I'm, that's a keeper. Yeah, yeah, that, look at all look at, that. Look at the brown spots on the, on, on, on the bottom of that. That's got a very unusual. Here oh. it is. I'm just trying to see if I can get it. That's got a very unusual white side to it. Look at look at that. that. Yeah. It's almost at almost like a, a pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Al. Yeah. Get get that. Uh, now this is one of the bonuses when you're worming in the daylight. You come across these before the stripers come on. Yeah, the, the right? fluke are pretty thick in here. Yeah, most of them are small, but right. but look at that pat that pattern of of uh, of the blacks of the dark side yeah. on the white. And look Very at the unusual. pattern on this side. Look how beautiful that that's pattern a really, is. That's a really pretty fluke. It sure is. Well, that's going on the den table. There's no way that fish is going back, right? Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> up to you. Now we're going to move back up in the rip. We got it. The wind is kind of pushing us off. We don't have enough current yet to really keep us in the, on track the way we want to go. So we're going to go back up and keep working this area and get into that line, that little feeding lane that we hope to use fisher on. And as the current pushes and the rip starts to stand up, we'll get a better visual of where it is we want to be. So. We'll go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll rig up and get a few more worms here, huh? It's time for our tip of the week, brought to you by Boaters World, boating and fishing for the world. You know, folks, anytime you're doing this kind of fishing, whether it's eels, whether it's worms, whether you're plugging, you need to have your hooks organized and know where they are. And I got a great tip for you this week. I found this in a Home Depot. It's only 10 bucks. It came with the carrying case and four Plano boxes, so I can organize all my Daiichi hooks according to sizes, styles, colors, Octopus hooks, wide gap hooks for plastic baits. I can actually use my offset hooks, or I could replace these boxes with plugs and carry it all in a quick travel bag, and you're ready to go and everything's organized right there when you need it, and you'll catch more fish like that, and that's our boat as well, tip of the week. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> There's a lot of bait all over the surface here. We marked them on the screen. That feels like a bass. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, looking take good. Take a little line, take Not a little line. Not too big, but. Uh... There we go. The right oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Hold on, Gene. I'll get him. Okay. Yeah, a little bass. There we go. It's not ready to come in yet. The right kind. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, this is feisty. Oh, yeah. They all, the little ones are more feisty than the big ones. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a start. Here we go, there we go, this one. Your, your first sandy hook straight bass, huh? That's oh, look at that, nice. Come on, baby. <laughs> Whew. Well, that proves, they, that proves they're here anyway, huh? They are here, we marked them on the screen. This nice little fish, about 24, 25 inches. Mm -hmm. And in New Jersey, it's 28 inches also. No, 24 to 28 slot. Oh, that's right. Wow, I should measure this fish. Yeah. Right down there. Yeah, I don't think he'd make it. He is 24. He, just, yeah, he's just a... 24. Uh, you just, yeah, yep. you could just there squeeze. There he is. You could squeeze him out to 24, that's right? right. Yep. That's right. And that, that's actually legal to do. Well, we're not, we're not going to keep any fish, <laughs> yeah. but this shows that they're here. Put them back. That's it's, right. The water's warm. The water temperature is already 71 to 72. It's even been higher than that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, I bet that you. One out? No, I, I may, we may, he may be picking up on lines here. And we want to get our fish into the boat 
Get them back in the water. If you're not going to keep them, don't stress them out that much and put them back in the water. We'll take a quick commercial break. We got a little commotion going on around here. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll come back. Cap now a story from the Star Legend, our good buddy Gene, who's our host here today on his boat, coming out of uh, the Atlantic Highlands, doing some warming for stripers off the sandy hook. We'll be back in a minute. All right, let's get rigged up and ready to go. There we go. Does this look familiar? Try shopping at Boaters World. Everything for boating, for fishing, for better times. Boaters World. Deep, deep discounts on over 20,000 marine products. Last break, take now. There he is! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> right. The Montauk Yacht Club has been a public resort and marina since the mid-80s. With over 200 slips, the marina is a perennial favorite for overnight or season-long stays. Yachting Magazine named Montauk Yacht Club one of the top 10 destinations in America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. With beautiful baths, luxurious rooms, and wireless internet access, the Montauk Yacht Club is tastefully elegant, relaxing, and invitingly fresh for wedding or corporate functions, with dining and lounge just steps away. Mahopak Marina, located on picturesque Lake Mahopak in Putnam County, has been owned and operated by the Melchner family since 1969. Boating is a wonderful way to spend quality time with your family and friends, and Lake Mahopak offers a fantastic opportunity to do just that. Mahopak Marina can make owning a boat very affordable. Buy a new boat for as little as $99 a month. The Mahopak Marina is also a full-service marina, servicing the boating community from the Hudson River to the Long Island Sound. One hour from Manhattan, 45 minutes from the Bronx and Southern Westchester. Mahopak Marina, Route 6 and Mahopak, New York. Wow! Oh, Eric, oh, look at him take the line hey. out. Hey, all right. Gene, you're right. You can't let Alan this corner. Yeah, <laughs> that's a hot corner. A hot you corner. Can't let Alan that corner. That's Woo. a hot corner. Watch it, Alan. Okay. Here we go. All right, come on through. I'm all on top of you. No, you have a, no, no. Lift your lift your rod up so I see where you are. You have a fish, Gene? Yeah, on Neil. Let me see. Okay, I let have me. A fish on Neil. Okay, okay, move over. Where, where's your line? Let me see. Over here. I'm still on here. I don't know where I'm. I think I'm out past you, Al. I I'm think, way yeah. out here. Well, I think I, feel, I think I feel someone, so I'm going to... Oh, I'm under you. Okay, okay let me see. Go. Is that, is that it? You. Let's get one of these lines out of the water. Let me see. We've got two fish to land. I'm just trying to see if I'm clear. Yeah, oh, yeah, this I'm one's clear. taking some line again, okay. Al. Good. All right. Let me get this one out oh, of the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, smoking some line, baby. Everything's good, and I got this one out of, out of the water. Oh, I got a fish right here at the side of the boat. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, smoking a line. Look at this. Oh, I thought I thought he was ready. He was. He was right <laughs> up on the top. Is he is he uh, liftable or you? Or you... Uh, it feels like another 15 pound fish, Al. Okay, I'll get me get the net. Here you go. Yours is next to the boat too, Gene. Here we come around the side, Al. Here we come. Okay, comes. you lead him to me. Nope, nope. I'll try one more time. Here yeah, go. yeah, he just goes, he went right underneath the boat. No Feisty. rush. There's no rush, there's no place for him to oh, go. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, let him. There you go, Al. There it is. Oh! Okay. Good fish. Drop him on the deck and go get jeans. Okay. Let's pop him right out of the net here. Right, I got mine over here. Okay, you need a net? Yeah. I'm at home right here. Okay, no rush. Whoops. Okay. Go ahead there, Al. Oh, wait, we got, we got the sinker. All right, there's no rush with these fish. There's no, there's no place for them to go. All right. We're all set. Okay. Ooh, there's another 15 pound fish, Al. Nice one. Okay. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me get going. Get this Are you one ready? Or? Come on. Yeah, I've been ready. Where's oh, the, baby. You say you're ready. Where's the fish? Come on. <laughs> all right.
Oh, I got my fish free. Whoops, he just turned his head at the last second. Oh, you got him snagged in the eye. That's why. In the eye. He's Look right in the eye socket. Look at that. That's what, that's, him anyway. that's, what, Woo. that's why that little fish is giving you such a hard time. A little eight pounder. Look at this, though, boys. Yeah, that's a nice one. Whoa, another 15 pound fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoops. You got to let's put, put this one back first. Yeah. And we'll go, go back over with them. Get this one going back. There she goes. Come on. There she goes. Good. That's funny thing there. We the you got the you got you got the the bigger fish on the worm and the smaller one on the eel. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Now we'll we'll net them just so I don't don't pop the line. Woo! I got a face full. Nice cool ocean water. <laughs> Yeah, step on in here, Al. Okay. All right. Want to do the do the honors there, Gene? Just throwing water. Just, 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 just swing him back to slot size mm -hmm. fish here. Yeah. Hold on. Just that's it. L lift him up a little bit, Gene. Just bring him in here. So this way, this way. Come, come to me. Good. Okay. And pull the net out. There you go. That's a beautiful. Probably about a slot size fish there, or may, maybe, maybe, maybe a little too big. Yeah, Al. <laughs> they're 28 what? inches, and they're too. They become too big. Al, on, on the Jersey side. Explain to the folks around a tri-state area what the slot deal is in okay. Jersey. It's pretty confusing this year. Yeah, well, yeah, the, 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 the regulation in New Jersey is that a fish from 24 to 28 inches is, 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 can be kept. Right. But then 28 to 34 inches, they, they, they have to be thrown back. Right. 34 inches and above, you can keep one. So right. you, if you're two, you can have the one slot, the one larger fish. And that might actually change again this coming it's fall, It's quite right? likely they will, because most, most of the anglers in New Jersey really want uh, two or 28 inches. Right. And, that, and they're gonna, it's going to change, whether it changes this fall or changes next year. And then there won't be any more slot fish. So whenever this show airs, just go to our website at thefishingline.com. We'll mm -hmm. have all the Jersey regulations for you up there. Let's make another drift. Nice okay. fish. All right. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah, I had a big bite. He took my entire worm off the hook. It's a little guy. So this is great on this light tackle, Al, because we, we yeah. got some big fish. You can oh, yeah, catch some yeah. big fish. You, Gene yeah. said he's, you guys have had fish up to 30 pounds here doing yeah, this worm and stuff. Every so often. I mean, you don't, it's not a, I never recommend it as a place to catch a big one. Right. But you will get some, you know, you, you will get the big one every now and again. But it's only something to do in the heat of the summer. Oh, it's great. Sure. It's great. It's, it's fun fishing. There's usually a lot of action. There we little, go. Little guy. Little guy. That's... That's more my size tonight. <laughs> and circle hook's got him right in, the, yep. perfectly right in the corner there. No, no harm done. Come on, you. And say it's easier to handle the thirty pounders. I know. They open their mouth and you get a good grip. <laughs> These little ones are all over the place. But that's what's great. It's fun action. Right, and you don't know the first you know, one. You never know what one's size a fifteen be. pounder, and the next the next is a two pounder. <laughs> That's right. So what we'll do now, Al, is we'll go to our tackle segment, show the folks exactly what kind of tackle we're using on tonight's show. Okay. There you go. Let me get a worm for you. Mm-hmm. The tackle on today's show is actually lighter than you would expect. We're in the heat of summer. These fish are very lethargic. They're just coming out of the rips and picking up a little morsel, be it a worm or an eel, and then they're going right back into the rips. So what I'm using is medium light tackle. I'm using a seven foot rod. It's the same rod we actually built with Hank Alton Kirk a season or two ago. You've seen that, it's a Sika blank, conventional, and we're using spinning as well because you can get away with both here. As far as the reels, I'm using medium light spinning or I'm using conventional tackle. The conventional tackle is an Okuma Enderon 400. It's a nice wide reel, got enough line on there. I'm using a 17 pound test silver thread or the 25 pound test silver thread line on this rig. And then on my spinning reel, I'm using a Kuma Avion uh, size 45, a good spinning reel, allows me to do some pencil pop and also some light uh, tackle worming is what we're doing on today's show as well. And of course my leader material on both the worm rig and the fish finder rig for the eels of course is my silver thread leader material. It's soft, it's supple, it's invisible in the water, a great leader material, it's very strong and tough. And that's light as well tonight. It's only a 20 pound test leader material. Now let's get back to some of today's fishing action. You can you can you can put a, you can put away the uh, the harpoon. What what pound test you got in there, Al? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, you, you just got me. Hold oh, on oh, oh, oh. Yep. 
Oh, it's a blue fish. No, no, it's a bass. It was so lively up on top here. It's another little guy. Yeah. Okay, we got a mess here. Straight up. All right, well. There's another little one. All in right. the dark. Tangles in the dark, baby. He, he whacked it. He whacked it good. Nice little fish. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to find these fish ahead of the rip, on the rip, behind the rip, and it changes, Al, uh, like, Mm -hmm. Sometimes every tide, every rip is different, every yeah, night rips is different. Yeah, di the various rips are different, but here, you very rarely catch them very far behind the rip. Just usually, just barely behind it, and then you, and you're it's pretty like much... It's like really on the peak or in front. If the tide's running this yeah. way, you'll oh, get them you got Oh, you got a fish on this one, you you got, and we're tangled. Yep. Yep, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me see if I can... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> feels, feels like a nice fish, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's taking line. Does it? Does this? Does this count? <laughs> a little boat. There we go. Wait a I'll get the net. I got to get him up first. Hand lining, hand lining striped bass in, in the Sandy Hook rip. <laughs> Let me know where you got him. He's on the other side. Come on the other side here, Mikey. Come on. No, Gene, step back. Step back, Gene. Oh, we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful, there'll be line all over the place here now. Another striper. <laughs> there you go. Hey, they're Hand getting, lining. They're, what? Getting, they're getting smaller. It's, like, a good, it's a good thing that one was small. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have you or do I have, yeah, that's, yeah, oh, Gene's line is on the other side, okay. Yeah, as soon as I put my line in the water, you hooked up, so there we go. That was... A little bit of excitement. <laughs> now we can just get the what right size. We got the we got the right species starting off starting for us here. Him back. Let me get the clippers out here. This should be this should be. Alright, I got meter. line all over my feet. We gotta go back up and make a move anyway. Let's rig up. Take a little commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> right here with Captain Alvarez story and our buddy Gene here coming out of the Highlands. Sandy Hook Rip Worming Bass coming up next right here on the fish line. Oh, what a mess I got. My fault, too. <laughs> Captains and guides have known for years the blood red color triggers a natural feeding response in fish. Fish ignore popular colors, but they can't resist taste testing the bleeding bait color. Now you can add the world's sharpest hooks and the natural feeding response in fish with Daiichi's bleeding bait hooks. In tests across the country, Daiichi bleeding bait hooks outfished ordinary hooks as much as three to one. Whether you're worming for bass or chunking stripers, outfish your friends with Daiichi bleeding bait hooks. Yamaha's new 250 horsepower four-stroke delivers everything you want in an offshore outboard. Its unique variable camshaft timing and electronic throttle valve deliver breathtaking torque, powerful acceleration, smooth trolling and exceptional fuel efficiency all wrapped up in Yamaha's legendary four-stroke turn the key reliability everything you want and then some Fishermen, for the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. This is a fishery, folks. You can, you can do with a spinning reel because we're fishing really anywhere. Some of these rips are only 10 foot deep. Some of them are 25 foot. Yeah. But even as the word you know conjugates rips, you think of hard currents. It's really not that big. We're only using one ounce sinkers on our, our worm rigs. 
Come on, Gene, baby. Come on, baby. Just look at a broad tail on that thing. You have to, yeah, you have to get the head. There we go. There we go. He knows he's hooked now. <laughs> What's the matter? A little, a little heavy? <sighs> there All you right. go. Oh, okay, nice that's one. 20-pound fish. Yep. Look at that. Look, the hook came right out. Right in the net, that hook came out. Jeez. Woo! See, now, now you can hold the hook. The hook, this is what Daiichi. Daiichi, Daiichi. That's how you pronounce it. Daiichi. Whoops, well, that, one, that, one, that one's over 34 inches there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> on that small little 6-0 Daiichi. Daiichi octopus. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And you can use circle hooks. Al's out here using circle hooks. Mm -hmm. They're both going to work. That's a nice fish, fellas. Okay. Man, oh, man. Let's get in here for a snapshot for the <laughs> website, huh? Look okay. at this. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, sometimes, particularly in this warm weather, folks, you got to spend some time with her. And as much time as you spend fighting her, sometimes you got to spend reviving her. Out there, she, she wants to go now. A surprising amount of wind there tonight. There she goes. There we go. I'm in. I'm coming. I'll put, put your line up, Gene. I don't know where you are. I'm around yeah, okay. you. Okay, I'm, I'm around you, too. Right, come on. But, uh, let's... I had one. Yeah. Oh, this, this feels like, like a nice fish. Come on, baby. That's all. Part of the fun of night fishing is all the yeah. tangles. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that's so easy to do in the daytime. Oh man, this fish is just drag pulling line off. Still taking line? Oh yeah. I wonder if you got a cow nose ray. <laughs> I don't know. He's really, he's really fighting too hard for a bass. To tell he you the truth. Really is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to start putting some pressure on him. Even, even a 15, a 20 pound fish should have been floating on the surface already. Yeah. We're gonna start muscle him a little bit more, Al. Okay. You might want to. <laughs> you might want to come around me, far behind me, Al. I'll bring him in head first into yeah, the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, I got I got Come around the other side, Al. Here I'll we go. Get him. I'm gonna bring him starboard. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, we got a decent sized bass, but just, just watch your face. Not the right way. No wonder. No wonder you were having Woo! so much trouble with him. <laughs> man, oh man, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. a nice ten. That's almost 15 pound fish there. Yeah, Al. that's a nice fish. Yep, that. That's. That's more like the average fish we normally get in the right. summer. Yeah. Woo, man. You want the, you want the that's a nice fish there. Look at that. Yeah. Woo, baby. That one, that's a nice, healthy looking fish, too. That is nice. Nice, fish. And, nice clean fish. Yeah, look at that. Uh, hooked, hooked a, a bluefish in the back in, in the back with a right. with a circle hook. Look at yeah, that. You, so we, we want to get something almost as unusual. Huh? 15 pound fish. We'll throw yeah. him back here. Beautiful. <laughs> and there she goes. She kicks the I, tail. I, after a while, after a while, I was, I was sure, I was Ooh, sure you, you, you must have had a cow nose on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That Gene is funny. hit on the nail. Thank you, Good. Gene. Good job there, buddy. Nice one. Oh, All man. Right. Well, folks, okay, here, well, Gene. No, another drift. Here, Gene. We're going to make some Come more on. drifts. The fish line is out of time. You never know what's going to happen out here. <laughs> Hope the Sandy Hook rips out. Thanks exactly. for doing a great job. On the, Terrific. On the boat as always, Gene, thanks for bringing bye, us out bye, today. Bye. I appreciate it very much. Bye. Folks, thanks for being with us here on the fish line. That's pretty exciting stuff. We had a lot of commotion here, and that's what happens when you're fishing in the dark. <laughs> we'll be back here next week on the fish line. Your own back, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island now as well for the fish line. No matter where we are, we're fishing in your own backyard. Stay with us here every week on the fish line, and we'll see you here next Saturday morning. Great job, fellas. Let's go do a few more drifts while they're reading the credits, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Woo! To add the uncut extended copy of this program to your library with unseen catches and captain's interviews, just follow the directions on the screen. The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson was brought to you by Boaters World. Boating and fishing for the world. Boaters World. And by the Outdoor Channel. Real outdoors for real people. The Outdoor Channel. Also brought to you in part by Bomber Lures. Tie one on. Silver Thread Line. Performance Technology Line. Yum Baits. Start a feeding frenzy. Daiichi Hooks. The world's sharpest hooks. Yamaha, when you want the best. And by LIPA, the power of change. We'll see you next time on The Fishing Line. So long, everybody.